I think Oakland in general, it informs my whole point of view really, you know, like from, from the start. Oakland really early on kind of instilled in me the idea that you can say what you want to say politically and it can still be cool. You don't have to, you know, be uncool because of your political views. That, that's actually part of who you are and it's kind of cool to say that and put that in what it is that you do or who you are as an artist. So I think that that's one of the things just from growing up here that definitely comes out and comes through in my music. Sometimes I go up and I write up at Robert's Park at Joaquin Miller just to kind of get away and get a little perspective and get a little calm. I'll say this, writing in different places informs the writing differently. But, but having said that, having done it for as long as I have, it's also part of the skill and I feel like part of the responsibility of any anybody that's writing, of a writer lyrically, to be able to turn it on, to have your creative faucet oiled, well well enough oiled that you can turn it on whenever you need it. And, and that's a real skill and it's something that I, I developed after a couple of years of doing it. I'm gonna wanna redo the, the choruses. Um, <clears throat> can I hear what we have so far? It's a dancer's best shoes, a bottom. My mind just blew a gasket. Pretty ladies in the place, they best face, best lips they too. An artist's best muse. All right, let's give it a shot. I'll do it, I'll do it, shot. Let's do the other one that I had and double it. I reached a point at the beginning of this year where I was like, you know, I have a new kind of thing that I have in mind that I want to try. And I was actually talking to my boy, Head Nodic, who I worked with on uh, the Mighty Underdogs record. He was like, check these guys out. See what you think of their stuff. And he played me some, 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 some of the stuff of Somehow at Sea. And my teeth was like, this is some dope and I want to work with these producers. So uh, he called us up and was like, you know, you guys free? And we're like, yeah, <laughs> we're free. We're pretty open. So I came over here and in about four or five months, we just burned through maybe, we had maybe 30 or 40 tracks done. And then from that came the mixtape called Truth at Sea. And usually mixtapes are like culminations of all your old stuff with like, you know, some stuff that's just exclusive and this one's going to be like all exclusive because it's just all the stuff that did make the record and we're just going to mix it together in a way that allows people to at least hear some of the crazy stuff we were doing and there's some crazy stuff on here so let's do the course let's just do uh, i want to fill it out and then i'm going to do some um do blaze some differentials and then i'll do the other <laughs> Cool. Some differential equations. Some just differentials on there. <laughs> differential referentials. You no, know, that's what I did my dissertation on when I was up in uh, <laughs> my collegiateisms. I think one surprise was he wanted to sing a lot more than rap on the stuff, and mm -hmm. I was excited about that. Higher, let's go higher. But from the old stuff that I know from Latirix, it's all rapping mostly. Mm -hmm. But he, you know, he's exploring and you know, try to do stuff, and, he, and he's trying to sing a lot more. Which is reflective in him, uh, select, you know, choosing to work with producers like us who aren't necessarily straight hip-hop producers. And higher, let's go, so higher, higher, higher. Is that what you're saying? That's, well, that's the first, that's the same that's one first. as the first one. So you just like change the note in the middle of singing, so higher, higher, higher. Higher, let's go. Can you do banana? It might, it might not work, or it might just be easier to just keep it the same. But it might work a little bit better with the bass line. It's just a little okay. thing that I'm hearing. Okay. Because the bass line kind of. I had another thing that I was gonna do. Higher, 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 higher. Let's go. I definitely like trying new things. Um, I think that I have kind of the tools to to do a lot of different things. Um, you know, luckily I, 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 have, I can carry a tune in a bucket. I mean, I'm not like Luther Vandross or D'Angelo or anything, but uh, I, 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 can, I, can sing, I can sing something. I'm not like Daryl Hall or anything. What I want you got and it might be hard to handle. I like a flame of burns a candle. I like a candle feeds a flame. There's a lot less risk involved with a mixtape. You're not, you don't have as much on the line 
around how people are going to react or respond or critique a mixtape. It's kind of, there's just not as much weight put on the mixtape in that way. I think it, it gives you a glimpse into the other things that an artist might do uh, outside of just an album format. H Higher, I tried to, is a song on the uh, Truth at Sea mixtape. All of the words and all of the ideas that I'm talking about are the first nugget of somebody who kind of finds their purpose. And, and that's really what I wanted to kind of bring out, like a, you know, an MC's, you know, first, first word, like, oh yeah, okay. You know, uh, or, or a journalist's first, first book that they're just taking to their editor, like, oh, okay, that, that feeling about take this higher. This is gonna go all the way. It's a dancer's best shoes, a bartender's best dancer for any blues. A handsome guy's cool, pretty ladies in the places, they best looking face, best lipstick too. An artist's best muse, a demolition man, short fuse. An interior decorator's favorite puce, a captain's best cruise. A DJ on the ones and twos. How we do everybody in the place, put your hands up. If you're feeling down, baby, this is the answer. Part of people in the place that's get amped up. Sing along like the song was your anthem. Strong to the brick of dawn, go on, put your hands up. We gon' set it on fire like a lantern. Dance floor so hot that it's gon' burn. The shoe souls you know on the low. Now let's go high. We try not to plan too much, you know, because you just it's just always in the moment when if you're feeling something, do it. And maybe some uh I could try some counter melodies too on the pre-chorus. Yeah, that'd be hot. I had this little thing I was doing that could kinda of work in the pre-chorus and the chorus. So I don't know, maybe I just kind of f around. I'm I'm picturing it like delayed and verbed out too. Of course. That's how we do. So, so, so. Cool. Yeah. I think that's good. What do you think? What do you think of Latif? Or what is the differentials? What are you doing? The little, little just different little stuff. Shit. Ain't no doubt about it. We got differentials. Yeah.